How To with Hallie. I'm your host, Hallie May. You can find today's ideas and more at HallieMay.com. I was so excited when one of my best girlfriends asked me to help plan her Princess Brooklyn's first birthday bash. We're going to share all of those do-it-yourself ideas today. Great way to save money. If you're planning a party for your little princess, you come to the right place. Well, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. This is a princess tree, perfect for princess party decor. Let's talk about what you'll need. You will need marabou trim. Now, I found it already cut out on clearance for $2.50. You can buy it by the yard at Walmart in the craft section for about $1.64. It takes about a yard for each tree, so that's not too bad. Um, you'll need sticks from your backyard for the tree part. You will need pins to stick it in and you are sticking this all into your flower arranger. Now, you could use styrofoam balls for this, but they are actually pretty costly. One styrofoam ball is like $3.50. So I got a pack of flower arrangers um, at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. It comes with two, so that's only 50 cent a piece. So if you look at it that way, you can get away with making one of these for about $2. Let's get started. All you're going to do is take your flower arranger and start wrapping your marabou trim around. As you wrap, you're going to secure it with a pin. When you've wrapped it around, you're just going to pull it back around to cover the top area. After you've covered your entire flower arranger, go ahead and take your stick and all you're going to do is just find a good spot and push it on through, just like so. Add these into your wine flower vases or a vase of their own for a nice added touch. Make your own tool balls. These are great to hang from the ceiling for decoration and super, super cute and you could actually save money if you just do them yourself. So all you'll need is scissors, a book, You'll need this size for the bigger ones that we're going to do like this. You can use smaller books for smaller sizes and larger ones for larger sizes. And we're going to do a multicolored one. So go ahead and grab two of your tools, okay? We are going to do these together. The first thing you're going to do is cut about 12 inches off of your tool. We're going to use this to tie with. So go ahead and cut that off just like so. We've got that, we're gonna set it aside. Then you're going to take both of your tools side by side and you're gonna kind of bunch them up just like so, okay? And I'm just gonna let mine fall to the floor because it just rolls right off if you do so. Then you're just going to wrap it around your book. Now since we have two at a time, um, normally, for the one that I showed you before, we wrapped that one 25 times. So we're going to wrap this one about 20 times. Now that you've wrapped your tool 20 or so times, if you want it fuller, you can wrap it around 50. It's just up to you. All you're going to do is cut it off, just like so. After you've cut your tool, simply pull it off of the book. Then you're going to tie the piece that we cut in the middle. When you've tied your knot, you're just going to cut your tool. So just take it like this and take your scissors, make sure it's even, and just go ahead and cut it. All we're going to do is make sure the edges are even. If it looks a little uneven, just go ahead and grab it all together and trim it up. Fluff it out. And you can tie a piece of fishing line or ribbon on the inside. I'll probably use fishing line because there's no shortage of that at our house and this will be perfect to hang from the ceiling. The only thing you should need to purchase for this project is tool and you can find this two for five dollars at AC Moore.
Magic wands make a perfect accessory for a princess party. You can find a pack of nine magic wands at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I chose to spray paint them certain colors to match the party. A great way to doll up your Dollar Tree vases is to add diamond mesh. You can also add this to candle holders. Making your child's initial is a lot easier than you might think. Pick up a poster board from the Dollar Tree. Take a knife, cut out your child's initial, and cover it with your favorite material. I got this at Walmart, two yards for $10. You can find more detailed instructions at HallieMade.com under Dr. Seuss Party Planning Ideas. You can learn how to make this cupcake tier at HallieMade.com under Jewelry Cupcake Stand. Pick up some plain frames at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. This is a great way to display the dishes you'll be having at your party. Another way to display your princess trees is to put it in a vase with some tulle in the bottom. Thank you guys so much for watching How To with Hallie. If you try any of these projects, please post them and share them with me so I can see how yours turn out. I hope your princess party is a success. I know Brooklyn's will be. Stay tuned for more How To with Hallie. I hope to see you guys soon.